Hi, everyone. Today I'm here with Dr. Joyce Lynn and graduate coordinator Matthew White. How's everybody doing today? We're good. Good, thank you. They're here to tell me a little bit about their master's program and a new specialization within that program. You guys want to give me a little more information about that? Um, sure. So the mathematics department has offers a master's of science degree in mathematics and has for decades. Um, and it's a two-year program. And uh, it, we admit people from outside the university who come from other schools. And uh, that there's a normal application process for that, which we can talk about in a minute. And um, then we also have a what we call a blended program, a four plus one program that allows current undergraduate Cal Poly math majors to complete the master's degree kind of all at once with one extra year while they're still here, cut, cuts down on time, saves some money. That's, that's the, the traditional overarching program. And then we have a new applied specialization, which Joyce can tell you all about. Yeah, so our applied specialization um, started this year, so this fall, um, and uh, it's a blended. It's blended in the sense that half the curriculum is a hybrid with uh, classical ma mathematics and um, more applied mathematics, um, and a lot of the applied mathematics um, is geared towards kind of what the market interests are and the students that we hope to um, have graduate from this program would go on to industry or other PhD programs they'd be well suited for both. Great and it's my understanding that there's some undergrad teaching opportunities and things like that to offset tuition. Could you tell me a little bit about those opportunities? Sure so um, all graduate students and this in includes four plus one students once they're formally on graduate status which is something they have to have enough coursework before the university lets them have that, are allowed to teach for the mathematics department. And the way the rules work is uh, any graduate student can teach one section of a course uh, per quarter. Um, once a student has passed both written qualifying exams, if they wish, they can teach two sections uh, per quarter. Um, which actually does pay a reasonable amount it would be more than enough to offset whatever you were doing that year um and so we've traditionally been able to give that uh that opportunity to as many students as as wanted sometimes people don't want to they don't we don't force them to do it there's also the tutoring center which is the math help hub joyce you have been running that yeah so in addition to um being able to teach your own uh college level course which is a really unique experience for um a master's student. Um, we also um, give our graduate students first dibs in uh, if they want to work at the Math Help Hub, which is a tutoring center that um, uh, services all the whole university. So any student who has questions about homework or curriculum, they can drop into the Math Help Hub, which is open to everyone. Um, and the, the schedule is very stable at certain hours each day. Um, it's the same hours. Um, for I think Monday through Thursday, um, and they can also work as a one-on-one a, a -on -one tutoring and get paid for that as well. Um, other opportunities for um, kind of to offset tuition would be summer research opportunities um, that are given to graduate students, um, and of course there's just general private tutoring as well, which some of our grad students do. And what are the prerequisites to apply for this program? So generally what we want to see for a person coming from outside the university would be a, 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 a math major or a closely related field where they took a lot of proof-based mathematics. And we tend to look to see what sorts of grades people got in proof-based courses. So real analysis, modern algebra, linear algebra, a number theory, topology if they've taken it, this kind of stuff. Um, we look for good recommendations. We also do require, as of now, the general GRE, but not the subject test, which is a big deal for people. We don't require the subject test in math, just the general test. Um, but basically, we're looking for good grades in those sorts of classes so that we know that the person is going to be well prepared to handle um, our, our program. Joyce, uh, do you have anything to add to that? Um because it's truly a hybrid program with classical and um, applied mathematics, um, we, we would really look for someone who uh, 
would be strong for the preliminary exams. So strong in their algebra and analysis is, is what I would say. Um, we obviously want to see good grades if they took um, differential equations, things like that. Um, and also uh, being able to compute is a, is a plus as well. But I, I don't think those are uh, requirements, I would necessarily say. Where can interested students go to apply for this program? Well, the first stop would be to go to the department's uh, math department's website and just click on the graduate programs part there. I believe all the information you need about where to get to the Cal State apply part of it should be linked on that website. Dr. Lynn, do you have anything else to add about the program? Yeah, so I just wanted to add a few more aspects about the program that kind of make it a little bit more unique. Um, so for our, our, especially for the applied specialization, we are hoping and pushing our students to get summer internships. This is partly to give them a leg up when they um, go work in industry. And we're working with our industry partners now to have those uh, internships set up for our students. Um, another thing is that we um, do have funding for students to travel to, um, conferences. So that's also another unique experience for students who are looking to go on to graduate programs uh, beyond their master's um, to go to um, a conference, present their research either as a poster or as a talk and network with other people in their field and get to know them. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention is that we have um, our, our graduate cohort is relatively small compared to our, our department size. So we have a really nice um, sort of student to faculty ratio. And uh, along with that is um, the students for their capstone experience can do a master's thesis in which they work with a faculty member on um, something kind of new and original um, for research. So these are all kind of unique opportunities that our, our master's students um, can have here at Cal Poly. Thank you both so much for meeting with me today. This sounds like a great program and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. You too, thank you. Thanks.